Welcome to the Netgear M4250 series AV over IP switch offered by Atlona. This will be a short video as these switches work with our OmniStream system out of the box. They ship from Atlona with our OmniStream configuration already installed, allowing AV installers fast and efficient management of their networked AV system. For this video, I'm following along with the OmniStream certified switches PDF and going to the Netgear configuration. I'm using the M4212P, and because I bought it from Atlona, the configuration is already uploaded. But should you need it for any reason, you can locate the configuration file under the model number of the switch that you have for your system. Logging into the M4250 switchers are easy. For our setup, I'm going to use the OOB port. The IP address for the OOB is 192.168. 0 0.239. We also set up two VLANs if you want to plug into those. VLAN 1 has an IP address for the web interface of 192.168.1.254. If you plug into VLAN 10, the web IP address is 10.1.1.254. You'll see it has AV login on the left or a main IT login on the right. We will use the AV login. The username is admin and we want to leave the password blank. When you hit submit, you'll be asked to create a new password. First, let's make certain we have the latest firmware. The firmware and configuration files are located under the maintenance tab. This is downloaded from the Netgear site and very easy to locate. Simply download the latest firmware from Netgear and we can upload it to the system. Now let's take a quick look at the configuration file that we give you from Atlona. If you have ever set up a network AV system, you know it can be complicated because you need to set up the VLAN, the DHCP server, port mapping, and IGMP for multicast. But with the Netgear M4250 switcher, that is pre-configured for OmniStream, you can see everything is already set up. We have already set up the VLANs. VLAN 1 is set up static using 192.168.1.1 through 192.168.1.254. VLAN 10 is for our OmniStream devices and is set up with DHCP range of 10.1.0.1 through 10.1.1.0. You can set these up statically using assignments from 10.1.1.1 through 10.1.1.253 with a subnet mask of 255.255.254.0. The only thing you might need to change on your Netgear switch is the password. To change the password, you'll need to go through the main GUI. The password is set up when you first log in and it's the same for both the AV and main UI. Under the main UI, you will need to go to the security tab, then select user management. Next, select the admin as the password we want to change, then enable the change password dropdown. Now you can change it to the new password and select apply. You can then log out and now you can test your new password. But what if you have an M4250 that you didn't get from Atlona, or it doesn't have the OmniStream configuration for some other reason? Locate the proper configuration file, which is part of our OmniStream certified switches PDF. We start with our Netgear 4250 series on page 44. My switch, as I mentioned, is the GSM 4212P. So this is the configuration I would download. Within the AV UI, I would go to the Maintenance tab, select the small arrow to upload the file from my local drive, and select Upload. That's really how easy it is to set up a system for OmniStream using the Netgear switches. For more information, go to www.atlona.com forward slash Netgear.